Y'all, we buying up everything. Okay. <laughs> Produced by Jenny Productions, your favorite plus size stylist. And Sneaker Enthust is back with another one. If you haven't been here before, go down to the subscribe button, click the bell so you can be notified at all. <laughs> Listen, we got a haul. Yeah, that's right. We got a haul. We got a haul. These are all purses or bags. Some type of tote, purse, book bag. That's all this is. It's really important that I find bags that, especially when it's a crossbody bag, that is gonna fit over these the G's. Uh, uh, uh. I went to the max and I kind of racked up. I did spend a hundred and like twenty-five dollars, so I don't think that's the bad on um, new bags. I took some of my old bags out, not needed, bonito, okay, and so I'm replacing them. Okay, now disclaimer: this was supposed to be a collective haul. Okay, this was supposed to be a collective haul. However, there's a black owned brand called J Lux. They said that they would ship my items out when I purchased them. First time like October 17th. They said they would ship my items out at 7 to 10 business days. By, I think it was like October 30th. I had still hadn't heard nothing. No shipping, no nothing. That was almost, pretty much like 15 days, okay? And I had ordered like two medium totes. And they were on sale or whatever. And so, you know, I had reached out to them. Didn't get no answer. So I ended up just doing a chargeback on my card. And then they reached out to me and was like, oh, you already charged your, did a chargeback on your card? Yes. Because now we're going into 20 days and I haven't heard nothing. Okay? That does not mean I'm going to stop shopping black owned. It just means I just won't shop with them. I won't be shopping with them. That's right. I won't be shopping with them. Anymore. So I'm still looking for other black owned brands to buy my purses and bags from i want to switch out any brand outside of coach and my course i want to switch out all of my other purses for that stop making purses like this okay please stop making purses like this stop making purses like this i can't put nothing in this purse i'm a content creator if i carry a purse like this my wallet can barely fit in this I'm going to need to also carry another bag which makes me not even want to carry this purse this is honestly for decoration these are my daughter's purses so that's that I need at least at least this size purse at least if your purse ain't at least this size but we don't got nothing to talk about I, I'm sorry I cannot purchase from me. I can't per wear no itty bitty purses I'm sorry anyway let's get into the shine haul this is Steve Madden bucket bag i thought this bag was super cute in color very unique in style book bags are definitely coming back that's steve madden going down the side and then i love that it had a few different straps so with this bag you had the strap on the top you also have the crossbody option in the inside and i'm gonna show you how that transpired just like super quickly not like too much work because sometimes the crossbody if you have multiple handles it can be too much to like transfer or be like oh i'm gonna wear it this way y'all see how quick and easy that was look at that that steve man detailing is just super cute this purse cost me 29 dollars i did accidentally snap the receipt off of it that's a bad price for this purse all of my purses have to t have to pass the boot test okay they all have to pass the boot test so this is first look on the boob test and I think this is spot on y'all let me get the mirror out so I can see myself oh yeah this is this is, this is spot on yeah mm-hmm so it does pass the boob test because a lot of time the crossbody like I really love K Spade bags but they be steady right here at this point just add a third uh, your third titty at this point okay I'm going to be honest, I would definitely probably wear it like this because I want you to see the bucket. I want you to see the bucket, period. Look at that. That's super cute. The jawstring option here. That's real old school, baby. All of our bags had the jawstring option here. We have a zip pocket here in the front. Let's get into the inside. 
there's two pockets in the inside here and you can put your cell phone in and so other zipper option here we have a tan lining that says Steve Madden yeah I love this this is real cute so here is bag number two I uh, wanted this bag because it reminded me of my auntie. However, this is just like my get up and go bag. That's what this is. This is a, a get up and go bag. Every mama got a bag like this. I don't care how many designer bags you got. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. One of the reasons I got uh, this bag is because of the length of the handle for crossbody action. Okay. So if we put this on like this, look at that. This dang, okay. this dang is dang near like on my hip as it should be. That's the crossbody action. The bucket bag when I had it was kind of up here, but you can understand because of the shape. But look at that, their crossbody action. That's actually perfect. Look at that, crossbody action. Exactly how it could be. I can actually lower it a little bit lower from these little notches. Let's let's try it on and see. So that even makes it lower where it's literally like almost sitting on top of my lap. I love this. I love how long the I love how long the handle is that allows you to do the crossbody. I do not like crossbody that hug around my breast. I just do not like it. So it looks on the back. Very sleek, very lightweight too. Okay. Now this bag is from Urban Expressions. Since you e, it was nineteen dollars, or should I say twenty dollars? Magnetic straps here. Y'all see that? It gonna keep your purse closed. Now we have several different zips. Okay. A front pocket we have another section where you can just hold stuff in it's like an open pocket and then we have another zip pocket everything has paper in it we have a zip pocket for like change here in the inside I want can you you can't peel this off right oh no you can't they are connected absolutely they're connected a bag I would carry in the airport only because of all the places that you can put different things when I'm in the airport, I don't put my money in my bag anyway, so <laughs> that's that on that. Can't really tell if this is brown. It kind of gives hues, uh, hues of gray. You got a little cream. You got some white. So this is that just that purse that you can literally wear with everything. The next we have is a subtle gray Steve Madden bag, baby. Y'all know Steve Madden been doing its thug fizzle, okay? This is awesome from TJ Maxx. This purse cost me 20 Four ninety nine is the um, B Maggie Fog Dome Crossbody. I did not have just a solid color, a neutral color, gray purse, and I really needed it. I love this metallic silver detailing. A metallic silver like link chain detailing on any bag is definitely top tier. I forgot to do the booby test. I definitely believe that this passed the test. Well, what it comes with is what I get when it comes to the cross body handle. That's all. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all you get. So I don't have the option to shorten the handle or um, make the handle longer. I don't have that option with this particular cross body bag from Steve Madden. However, they did their big one because, like I said, this one is almost like sitting on my hip already. Now, let's get into the bag. We have a flap here in the back. We also have a cute little metallic zip zipper going across to open. This is definitely big enough for my wallet, my phone. That was another thing with all these purses. I need to make sure I can carry both of my both of my phones. My business phone, my uh, as well as my personal phone, my wallet any charges if I uh, like a portable charger or whatever I needed to be able to carry those things so we start off with the traditional Steve Madden lining it has Steve Madden on it we have a side pocket for maybe your wallet 
or your cell phone because this is actually pretty deep as well as a change I call it the change pocket y'all I'm not sure if that's what it is but it's a zipper and you can put things in as well and it's actually pretty deep too so I can put one phone on one side and one on the other I definitely give this phone a, this perk a 10 out of 10 I love it like and honestly I've never had a bag like a pat leather bag like this like let's get into Let's, let, let's give her a round of applause, okay? This is a Steve Madden bag to the SM. This also has the Steve Madden on the crossbody handle. I love the black on black detailing. Nothing else but black. Has this cute little change purse and it is detachable. Love that. Now, I am going to give you a disclaimer. I did wear this because this is the only black on black bag I have. And I'm going to give this bag 100 out of 100. Let me tell you why. Back pocket here. This zipper allowed me to have both of my phones here. Actually, no, I didn't. Didn't have my phone here. I have my wallet. I have my lip gloss and my mitts and all of the things in here. We have two pockets in the inside here as well as a zip pocket here now this bag was not big enough for my keys but I honestly just clipped them because I have a clip for my headphones and I just clipped it right here and baby it gave a look it gave a look now we also have these compartments this is where I have my cell phones I had two it's two of these compartments one cell phone there one cell phone there okay and this was super cute I got a lot of compliments on this bag this bag is titty approved already. I'm just gonna let y'all know it's titty approved. Okay, so let's get, let's get into the the making sure it's titty approved. So y'all can see it's titty approved. Okay. Look at that. Look how cute that bag is. Right down that hip. Let's get into the detail. Let's get it. Let's get into the detail. $29.99. I was going to pay $29.99 for this purse regardless because I love the way that it looks okay here's the thing about reviewing items and then trying them on is oh I could try them on for two seconds when you, when you actually getting out here and putting the work in with that item to really see if it works that's the reason why I wore this purse that's the reason why I wore it I wore it on vacation we it was my cousin's 40th birthday so it was a whole thing but I mean, this purse, like, set the outfit just, mm. I wore a Nike set. It was a Nike hoodie with a Nike leggings. Nike leggings had, like, black stripes in them. It was like tiger stripes. Baby, this ain't up. It, it ain't up with it. Ugh. Only one like this. I wish he had more like this because of the size, right? That patent leather gonna eat every time. I uh, didn't get this purse with the rest of the bags. And let me tell you why. I actually didn't see this bag the first time. So, I think I went back, like, a week later it's like a week and a half later and i saw this bag that was originally for $24.99 it was originally $24.99 however let me show y'all you can see there's like a mark here to some people that would bother the heck out of them for me it doesn't really honestly it didn't matter once for the manager and i was like oh i really like this purse it goes with the collection y'all see i got three steve madden bags and i even though i had already had them and i was like you know you have this black mark on this leather it, and it's steve madden and i was like i want to buy this bag right now however it got a whole black mark across the top and i was like i did not do this you can check the cameras like i wasn't trying to get nothing off he was like oh no problem he was like i could take it down to 15 dollars 15 dollars I was able to get this purse for $15 because of this black marking, if y'all can see that. So this purse is very similar, actually exactly like the gray one, except this is a brownish, tannish, I would say a beige color. Tannish is a little bit darker beige color. It also has the gold detailing and the silver, same back pocket, same inside pocket, honestly, the inside pocket here as well as the zip pocket right there, okay? And then, as I said before, you have the back pocket. Now, if the silver one passed the boob test, this one shell as well um this bag is an, it's an auto bag y'all see that say auto yeah you do I, it was a tan colored one too we got the one as well this cute auto bag like look at the detailing on here like look at that 
Ain't that cute? This bag was $40 and I don't think it's too bad for a book bag of this size. We have a pocket in the front. And y'all, now that I think about it, I never even looked at like the pockets inside of these bags because the size is what mattered to me. We have the inside of the bag, we have two pockets here, which my coach bag, my, which my coach bag has almost identical two pockets right there. And then we have, oh, we have some type of clip inside with another, ooh, deep, deep, deep pocket there. Ooh, okay. But this bag has really good black detailing. I love all the black detailing. The zippers, the black A symbol here. Everything is just black on black on black. And I absolutely love it. Oka own. Obviously, this one is not meant for the titty test. But it looks really good on me. As most things do. Looks really good. Comment down below which purse is your favorite. I'm going to be honest, definitely my number one choice is the olive green Steve Madden bucking bag slash crossbody bag. That, that one definitely eats down. I would have to choose that one as my favorite, mainly because the color, y'all know I love green, and then the shape of the bag. I haven't had a bag like that in years, so as soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh my god, yes, I gotta have it. So I'm actually gonna go back to see if they have more, because I would love to have it in a red, or even an orange. I would even take it in like a, um, a hot pink. Ooh! Don't forget to be good on purpose. Y'all be sweet. Smooches! Ah.